Okay, in a previous video, we installed a GSI of Lineage OS on a device. GSI, a generic system image. It is a image of Android that can be installed on any device. Unlike custom ROMs, that are designed specifically for a device. Uh, this is an image that should work on all, theoretically, modern Android devices from Android 9 on should be supported. But how do you know for sure that your device is supported? Uh, well, first off, should have mentioned this in the last video, you can check. So either enable ADB on your device and run this command, or uh, if you have Termux installed or some other shell, you should be able to run this command in there as well. And as long as it returns true, you know that your device is treble compliant, meaning that it can take a generic system image. So what is that command? Well, the command is get prop ro.treble.enabled. And of course, you're gonna run this from an ADB shell or some other shell on your device. If you run that command and you get true, well, that means that your device is treble compliant. And as long as you can unlock the bootloader, you should be able to install a generic Android image, a generic system image, GSI. Next, the issue of it being a generic image, it doesn't know what device you have, so it doesn't know where your camera is. And in my particular case, the camera is over here on the left-hand side, and it's covering up the clock. You may be able to see a number poking out around the corner there. And uh, you don't have to install anything special. You can go into the settings and move the clock from the left to the right. So again, I'm going to go into my settings, however you get to settings. And then we're going to go down to system. And under system, we're going to click on status bar. And in the options here, you have clock position. Uh, right now it sits to left. If I tick, tick that, click that and click right, the clock is now at the right and it's not behind the camera anymore. Now, you may have other notifications that show up over here and you may have to do something else to move those, but the clock by default is easy to move from left to right. There's no option by default on Lineage OS here for centering it. That is something that can be done. I don't know if you need an external application for that, but it's easy enough to move it from left to right. And you have other options in here on the status bar like uh, I like to change my battery symbol from a battery image to a circle, and I like to put the percentage inside that circle, uh, whether you want it to show AM or PM, that sort of thing. Now again, since this is a generic image, it doesn't know what device you currently have, uh, but if we were to go into settings here, at least on this Lineage uh, OS image of GSI, uh, there is a treble setting. So again, treble just means uh, that it is a, basically Google's trying to make it so that Android is more uh, cross devices. Uh, and so in this treble under settings, one of the top options, at least on this lineage OS uh, image is treble settings. And these are certain settings you might need to enable on certain devices. So there's a couple of options under the treble settings. And one of them down towards the bottom here is install IMS APK. Now this particular device is my, uh, you know, one of my backup devices. I don't actually have it hooked up to a cellular network. Uh, but if you do install this and you're having trouble connecting to your, your service provider, you may want to go check that and install that APK and hopefully it will make it work. Well, that is it. Just a, a few quick little, uh, extra things I wanted to add that could have been in the last video, but I didn't get to in the last video. So hopefully that helps you, you know, customize uh, your GSI Lineage OS on your device. If you have any questions, ask below. I'll see what I can do to answer. Again, I'm kind of new to the whole GSI thing, but again, it is one of the greatest things that happens that you, if you have an Android device with an unlocked bootloader, you don't have to worry about someone developing a custom image for your device. You can just put a generic one on there and customize it yourself without having to build something over hours with hundreds of gigs of files. So thanks for watching. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.